A cold wind howling over the moors, across Weirdale into Teesdale. The marker poles await the first deep snows of winter. What shall we speak of now we are old as you, when we shall hear the wind and rain beat dark December? Er, Willie! Shakespeare, of course. Discourse on December. December, our Christmas month. Christmas trees and fairy lights, snow pillows, presents and carols. Snow pillows, something perhaps to lay your head on when you're dreaming about a white Christmas. Snow pillows give some idea of how much snow there is on the high hills, how much snow melt will swell our rivers come the thaw. I asked the snowman. I think going back, certainly in the, in the kind of the mid 70s to the mid 80s, um, I came up here monitoring the weather station all that time and a lot of the time you're on skis. I mean, A, first find the weather station. Uh, it was a compass <laughs> job. Uh, and then just battling against the elements. I mean, it's windy today, but if you've got snow with this, uh, yeah. the whole place is just full. Tell me something about this myth then of white Christmases. How, how many white Christmases, say, do you have up in Woody Bank in, in the, high, the high Pennines here? I think we, we obviously get more than uh, the ones at lower altitude. Um, as to whether we'll get one this year, two years ago, it was very, very cold. I mean, we're talking about global warming, but uh, I can remember temperatures at nine o'clock, and I live just down the dale a bit, and it was still minus 15. Uh, what is the function of this snow pillar? The idea of the snow pillar was to uh, record the snow as it fell, and it's a large uh, pillow full of liquid, and as the weight of snow actually fell onto the pillow, it moved the fluid along up a small tube and that registered onto a gauge and that was then recorded back in Newcastle. A bleak friendless moor with its scattered whitewashed cottages, whitewashed so that Lord Barnard could tell which was his property. In 1992, storm force winds ripped through Teesdale, devastating many hundred foot high mature trees. Replacement saplings were planted the following summer and are now thriving. Was it the wind or was it some hungry beavers? A tree rooted in rock, and a spectacular high force waterfall, the largest in England. Gushing merrily this December, but in colder years like 1947, freezing into a magnificent mass of ice. Today, a seething, boiling, peaty cauldron, as the tease carves its way through the great wind sill and dives over the 70-foot drop on its cascading journey down to the North Sea. More tranquil, the Duke of Sutherland's old shooting lodge, now the High Force Hotel, a welcoming front, with hidden treasure round the back. Hello, Gary. Hello. 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 Fine. Shall I? Bob. Hi, Bob. Hello, Welcome Joanna. to Forest and Thanks very much. <laughs> now, most people keep a car in their garage. You've managed to organise a brewery. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's a nice little brewery. We do uh, make quite a bit of uh, ale here. How much do you make? When we brew, we make uh, five barrels. That's uh, 1,440 pints every time we brew. This cauldron snow is just one northeast beer of the year, 98. And uh, we're Valley Camera. Yeah, they we were up earlier in the week. And they said that uh, they're coming in January to present an award oh. because it was the best beer of uh, the festival. Well, we've come in from the highest microbrewery in England to sample the award-winning Cauldron Snout. Now, Cauldron Snout is the highest cascading waterfall in England. And the beer has been pulled by the award-winning best-looking barmaid in the north of England, Shauna. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas, Bob. Excellent, though. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so it's down the dale to the capital of Upper Teesdale, Middleton. A bonny little town, an oasis on the edge of a desert, a warm welcome from the ladies, and a festive welcome in the streets. <laughs> well, I can tell you, it's been slightly warmer at the North Pole today than it has been here in Middleton and Teesdale. But right throughout the year, we've been to every part of the region, from North Northumberland to North Yorkshire, from the North Sea to the North Pennines, in all sorts of weather. But one thing's for sure, whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, whether the weather, whatever the weather, whether you like it or not, a happy Christmas and a good new year. <laughs>